Hello, my name is Alman Harris, founder of Alita's Legacy. Alita's Legacy was founded to give children in Africa and Liberia, most especially, the chance and a hope to a better education by providing them with the resources that they would need to get this education that they so deserve. And also provide the tools, the resources, and the training for the teachers to give these kids the education that they so deserve. I definitely think that after seeing some of them very lethargic, I think there's an opportunity to give them a meal every day by providing a cafeteria setting that we can get some energy into these children and increase their capacity to learn. All of this, of course, is going to take the generous support of people in our area that are willing to provide the funds for this, but we can get a new building, a cafeteria, new bathrooms, just improve conditions all around the area. So about three months later, when we got back from Liberia after touring three schools in an orphanage, um, we started our first project at the Abedou Bensi Elementary School to build a two-story, 10-classroom building and uh, renovate a portion of the old school building, which is um, still in good shape. Um, there's a portion in the back which is actually going to be torn down. Um, we, we saw that in the, um, in the documentary during the tour. The first phase of the project was to build um, the perimeter wall around the school and the second phase was the foundations of the main school building and the cafeteria and restrooms. Um, all of this, you know, was made possible um, after the successful sunset dinner party at the penthouse of John and Kathy Bowen in Destin, Florida. Our close friends and family and um, community members um, came out to support the Alita's Legacy uh, Foundation to give the Liberian children a chance to a better education. That evening, we, we raised about $56,000. The first and second phases were completed the second week in May um, because the builders uh, wanted to get the job done so quickly. Um, they were excited that they had you know, jobs um, to do and um, they were getting paid. Um, they decided to not even go back home for about a month. They camped at the at, at the work site because um, of the COVID-19 lockdown. Um, they didn't they didn't go back home. They just stayed on the campus and um, just worked through the whole through the whole time. Um, right now, because the first and second phases are done, we're hoping for more donations at this point to start the third phase and hopefully just finish the school building by September. So. These kids can, you know, have a new building to come to when school reopens in September. So we're still hoping um, um, to get more donations. The GoFundMe page is active. The, um, the Facebook um, page is active. The website is active. People are donating um, um, little by little. Um, but we're just hoping that we can just get more um, donations to come to come in uh, come through so that we can we can hopefully get this building um, completed by 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 September but um, we we actually do really appreciate all of those people who've stepped up to 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 help this project because without the help and the donations uh, we actually won't be where we are today the success of this mission basically is going to depend on the support and the participation of a few folks. We are hoping that you can join us on this journey again and 
Let's make a change. These children are the future leaders. We're not giving them handouts and we're not giving them charity. What we're doing is giving them hope and a chance to a better education so that they can have a brighter future and they can ultimately be somebody tomorrow. So please join with us and help us make this possible because these children do need this education so that they can be somebody tomorrow.